New tonight, an Iowa family is looking for some answers after a woman was hit by a pickup truck over the weekend. The incident caught on video it happened in the parking lot of Boomgars in Algona. It's a couple hours north of Des Moines. Local 5's John Diaz has the latest on the investigation, and we do want to warn you, some of the video may be a bit disturbing. My dad called me about 11 or 11.30 in the morning, and I knew right away that something was wrong. It was a call no one wants to get. And he said he had bad news. There had been an accident. Christine Koch's mom, Tamasa, had been hit by a truck Saturday morning in the parking lot of the Bumgars in Algona, where she works part-time. Her injuries, severe. You know, broken hips, broken legs. Um, a collapsed lung. The 17 year old driver of the truck and nearby witnesses rushing to help the woman. Police responding within minutes of getting the call. We were very fortunate that one of the people on scene was actually an ER doctor. So that was very beneficial for us. Tomasa rushed to a nearby hospital. Anytime there's a, a serious injury accident, we do what's called auto lunch. So we automatically have the helicopter in route so we don't delay time. Eventually, she was airlifted to Mercy One in Des Moines. As for the investigation, police say the teenage driver wasn't driving recklessly, traveling just five to seven miles per hour. We're really looking at possibly not charging anybody just because there, there really wasn't any intent that we can prove. Um, it was purely um, wrong place, wrong time. Christine, though, hoping there will be some accountability. At this point, we don't we don't even know if my mom's going to be able to walk again. Uh so what happens next in a case like this? Well, police telling us they'll interview the driver of that truck one more time. Then they'll wrap up their investigation and send that over to the county attorney, who will then be able to weigh in on whether or not charges should be filed. In Des Moines, John Diaz, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Police say they interviewed a few witnesses who all saw part of the accident, but not the whole thing. The family is urging anyone who may have witnessed this but hasn't talked to police to come forward.